hello everybody and welcome to our new tutorial our new tutorial today is considered the uh, tutorial number three in the water injection monitoring uh, series uh, in this series uh, we agreed to have uh, five uh, five uh, five items in uh, water injection uh, these actually this is considered as the main items but uh, there are uh, sub items uh, we can discuss it in further in separate series maybe belong to uh, uh, water injection uh, design or uh, or testing or uh, precautions or limitation or whatever anyhow uh, today's tutorial uh, is focused on both wells and uh, reservoir performance in terms of uh, petroleum engineering, reservoir engineering, and operational side. Uh, now, as usual, let's go to our reference. Uh, as we agreed in the in the last tutorial in this series, injectivity monitoring uh, containing continuous monitoring of injection pressure and production or and other parameters in uh, the full field. Uh, for both oil producers and uh, injectors. Uh, second item, injectivity index monitoring, which already discussed further in, uh, in the last uh, tutorial. Hal Blot mentioned already in the first uh, lesson or first tutorial in this series. Transient uh, injection or fall of test uh, we will have this uh, in separate tutorial next week and the other tools let's focus for the first item today which is uh, monitoring uh, how to monitor the uh, water injection project uh, now we consider you already have the water injection on uh, on the plant or on the field uh, you have some some uh, injectors and some producers uh, what kind of data you gather and uh, what is importance for each data and uh, how frequent data uh, you should acquire and which one is essential or not we will discuss all of this in further in this tutorial okay let's this is start um, we have a uh, regular daily basis monitoring which is well by well uh, well by well daily oil gas uh, water uh, production uh, production rates uh, of course rates and ratios gas oil ratio water cut uh, cum production for both gas oil water or whatever uh, second item well by well uh, water injection rates and how to manage the rates we will discuss injection well head pressure production well pressure data for both well head and uh, reservoir level or downhole uh, on regular daily basis also still in, uh, what you have acquired every day uh, well by well daily oil gas and water production rates usually the well by well production data are back calculated or back allocated from the gathering line or gathering system uh, either offshore or onshore uh, especially in offshore uh, all the platform production is going to uh, subsea uh, production line the production line is is uh, gross production is carrying the gross production from the full platform production uh, then once arrived uh, to the gathering system or the uh, land or station for oil separation plant or whatever you can back allocate it uh, by reservoir uh, gathering system total produced volumes of uh, three phases oil gas and water uh, then allocated back to the individual wells on the basis of regular well tests 
suppose you have well test uh, a rule of thumb you have to make a well test for each well uh, once per week for each well okay in some cases uh, the production from a well may be com commingled and in this case uh, careful zoom production allocation should be done by regular PLT uh, and uh, if this if this is uh, not available on site or whatever you can use uh, other correlation like KH percentage uh, or whatever okay uh, for injection rates usually uh, in, in most of cases you have bump if you have one well one injector well you have no problem but in some cases or most of cases you have one bump uh, bumping water for uh, many injectors uh, as, as well as uh, we can back allocate uh, like we did in production uh, back allocate the production and calculate how many barrels injected for for which wells uh, in order to do this you have to use flow meter regularly for uh, each each well you can put this uh, flow meter uh, one day for each well and then uh, use the average for the week then by percentage for each one you can calculate uh, how many barrels injected to which well uh, th of course this these values uh, is very essential uh, for reservoir and water injection monitoring okay uh, why we use uh, injection rate uh, for each well and for the full full reservoir uh, to calculate IVR IWR VRR all of these terms referring to injection voidage replacement or injection withdrawal ratio in some cases they call it uh, VRR voidage uh, replacement ratio uh, usually this uh, to monitor how many barrels you inject water and how many barrels you recovered in terms of hydrocarbon uh, the theoretical one or most 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 optimum one uh, is one uh, but the fraction fraction if, of in this uh, less than one uh, let's say point from point seven to point nine which is acceptable ratio but uh, the efficiency if the efficiency of water injection is 0.5 maybe this project is insufficient um, ie if you inject 1000 bar uh, barrel water per day and you produce uh, 20000 barrel oil uh, this means nothing you, do, you you don't need water injection for this project because uh, no need uh, you inject 1 over 20 uh, so there is no voidage replacement okay The most important thing is to calculate the well head pressure. Uh, usually, you can use uh, on the injector. You can install uh, counter pressure gauge on the on the well head. This pressure gauge may be uh, digital or analog. Or uh, in the old cases, we use uh, Barton Barton chart for pressure for each day you have a paper cycle um, circle uh, 24 hours recording uh, the full day production and you can take the average as uh, full day average for this well okay also production well pressure data uh, for the pressure data is very important for uh, surface and downhole for surface as as usual we can use uh, wellhead pressure gauge 
uh, as we discussed in injector we should measure this one in, um, in producer uh, in some cases if you have especially sucker rod bump there is uh, a, a small device called ecometer this ecometer can measure the fluid level in the well and it can give you uh, an idea about the reservoir uh, the reservoir pressure uh, either this level is going up or down meaning uh, it's qualitative analysis just uh, not you cannot consider this as a reservoir pressure but it can give you a guide is this pressure is increasing or decreased uh, this ecometer can give you this chart uh, just uh, like echo sound and detect the fluid level okay. uh, now we have sa some sample report we have a lot of uh, reports uh, just to show you what is the type of, uh, of injection and how is data is go coming to you every day uh, if you tabulate uh, this uh, data usually you have to have this is the minimum data you have uh, date injection rate for each well uh, injection hours in this case 24 hours for the whole month and QM injection how many barrels injected during this month and well head injection pressure in BSI uh by the way you can see something is you can qc this uh, data don't import this data blindly to your ofm if you have something abnormal you can go back to uh, the field manager or uh, the production specialist on the next side on the field and ask them to revise uh, I can s let you see where, how to capture the error here. Uh, for instance, in this day uh, you inject 5,000 barrel, barrel per day, and the well head pressure 300 bis 305 350 bsi. Uh, once they increased uh, to 9,000 barrel, you have you inject uh, more more water but the wellhead injection pressure reduced to 200 and repeated for uh, many days this means uh, doesn't make sense of course because if you inject more more water the pump indicating a high higher pressure you can capture or qc uh, this data okay uh, all the previous slides mentioned the, the regular or daily periodical uh, data acquired on the well basis uh, but in the water injection monitoring you have some special other special data acquisition uh, you have to monitor reservoir pressure uh, you have to include this in, in RMB reservoir monitor uh, management plan uh, yearly you uh, you can as a you are as a reservoir engineer you decide how many wells you need to uh, to measure reservoir pressure uh, around it and how many wells you need to measure uh, saturation uh, in terms of redraw the saturation or oil hydrocarbon hydrocarbon uh, hydrocarbon map for the field after applying water injection during water injection project it's common to gather the other data out of daily routine as we mentioned before data gathering uh, these data can be form of regular injection or full of tests for injection wells and production build up for producers okay uh, saturation profile for the producer and it can be acquired uh, from open hole logs in the new infill wells if any and maybe 
from case the whole logs in the existing producer these are many the uh, sorry there are many tools uh, to measure the saturation in case the whole logs uh, and the choice depends on each each conditions commonly uh, TDT or thermal decay time log by Schlumberger or reservoir saturation tool RSET by Schlumberger as well uh, or BNN pulsed neutron neutron is preferred to run these tools in high saline formation water uh, by the way this tool can run in static or flowing uh, buses depends on each case uh, and depends is these wells uh, producing naturally or uh, artificially lifted depends on many cases on well configuration or schematic or whatever okay in low saline uh, saline water usually carbon oxygen mode can be run or resistivity log chfr by schlumberger as well case the whole formation resistivity uh, usually uh, you can make a time lapse in this example there is uh, tdt already measured uh, in many many years one two three four five, seven seven runs and uh, this one uh, in october 85 uh, 1985 uh, you see here the initial condition green one is uh, oil saturation you and the blue one is water saturation you can see here how water is going uh, going up upward and uh, reach to may 2002 and clear water uh, production is going up okay this technique can guide you to conduct the time lapse uh, hydrocarbon saturation profile and redraw the hydrocarbon potential map for the field as we mentioned before okay thank you 